Hello, I'm going to show you how to do a Robin Zip Carry. So it's a hip carry with the Mamaruga Podma. And we're going to use uh, the Podagi part of the Podma, which means you can just remove the waist belt for now. And we're going to bring baby on our hip. So I'm going to bring baby on my hip and support. If you want, you can use a chair or stool or something to just lift your leg, which can be handy if you can't just hold on to your baby. You're going to bring the top part of the sling around the neck and then I'm going to bring the fabric and tuck it under the bum like this to create a little bit of a seat. I'm going to bring this tail under my armpit and then across my back and all the way to my opposite shoulder like this and then I'm going to bring this other tail across and here I'm going to show you the version where I do it with just the tails and then I will show you a version to doing it with a sling ring which makes the fabric gliding a little bit easier so I'm going to keep this tail across bring this tail over and then I'm going to bring it across my back and then give it a little tug and then tighten the other tail at the front so keep pulling until it feels nice and tight and then I'm going to bring the fabric across the first knee, move the apron down like this so we're going to give it a little tug to tighten and then keep tightening, correct your shoulder at some point so it feels nice and comfortable and then I don't know if you can see but I've got a very long tail and much shorter tail so I'm going to cross and then come under the knee here, bring it across my back and then under the second knee. So this way I've got the same length and now I can do double knot. Make sure it's nice and tight and double the knot. And then you can request your shoulder, spread the fabric across your back. So the podma is made from a woven wrap, which means that you've got some nice woven fabric quality to give you some nice support. It's really lovely. And there you go. If you need, you can keep pulling down on your apron until it feels nice and comfortable and it's not in the way. So I've got my apron dangling down like this. And there you go. So the reason why I'm also going to show you that with a sling ring is that if you want to use this position for breastfeeding or bottle feeding, it makes things a little bit easier to pull down and loosen. So I'm going to take my baby out and then I'm going to demonstrate. So I'm going to remove my knot and then she pull baby and then just let the fabric come off. So we're going to start the same way. And I'm going to bring my sling ring through the tail that's over my shoulder so I'm going to bring it from the tail and then feed it through and then I'm going to again flip the fabric over so this time the loop is not created through the fabric but it's created through the sling ring and I'm going to bring the tail through like this And feed all the fabric through, pull my tail down, give a little tug and then I'm just going to finish my carry. But as you can see, it's just a bit easier if then if I want to loosen and then go feed my baby, I can do a loose knot, which is still supportive and then I can feed my baby. So you just lower down as much as you can but it just lies a bit more easily. So it's just a trick. It's up to you how you do it. You don't need to buy one, but if you have one, it's quite a handy thing to have. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.